السلام علیکم اسٹوڈنٹس ربش روحانی صدری و یاسر علی امری وحل العدت من لسانی یفقہ قولی ایم یور ٹیچر سفی یاسر اینڈ ٹوڈے ایم گوئنگ ٹو ٹیچ پلینس اینڈ اٹس ٹائپس آل رائٹ سو وٹ پلینس آر ٹو انڈرسٹینڈ دی امپورٹینس آف پلین جسٹ امیجن دیٹ اف دیر ور نو پلینس اینڈ ایوری وے یو کین سی پاؤنٹینس پلاٹوز ہلز دیر ور ایلیویشن ایوری وے ہائٹ ایوری وے تو وٹ یو تھنک Life would be easier for us. Not at all. Exactly. Constructing homes, agriculture, moving from one place to another, roads, and everything would be very difficult. Hence, planes play a really vital role in our daily life. Most of the developed cities, they are having flat lands. That is why this is one of the reasons that they are so much developed for example karachi alhamdulillah we are having mainly flat land in karachi karachi is at the sea level we are having industrialization and many other factors due to this flat land that make this city one of the busiest city of pakistan and one of the largest city of pakistan let's explore more about plains all right so with this picture with the help of this picture we can understand that can you see that there you can observe some agricultural land right a flat area just imagine if you are having an agricultural land it's on elevation it's on some mountainous areas will the water stop over there right yes or no and i think all of you are thinking about no the water will not stop exactly the water will not stop over there due to gravity it will come down so will the crops grow it's not that easy so that is why not only in agriculture but for the settlement people and this the requirement of the human life to have flat land right so what flat lands are what plains are plains are basically large area with some gently sloping they are flat lands but they just have a gently sloping right they have a very minimum elevation okay sometimes the flat lands they are highly fertile sometimes they are not that much fertile so let's explore the types of plains the first type of plain if you talk about grasslands basically they are white covered mostly with grasses white plains covered with grasses and they are there are many few trees over there that's mean that most of all grass over there few trees so what what was coming in your mind is it good for agriculture absolutely yes it is good for agriculture if the climate supports that grassland if there is rainfall over there if that area is near to a river source then these type of grasslands they are perfect for agriculture but it really depends on the climatic conditions that either that area is having a nearby source of water or not we call grasslands in different countries into different names such as in north america we call the grasslands as prairies in pampas we call them uh, sorry in south america we call them as pampas and another name of these grasslands that we are having is savanna basically in many of the countries such as in north america and australia we call them savannas and steppe in asia we call also call them steppe in asia right so basically grassland again if you just having an overview what do you understand with grassland white plains area mostly covered with grasses a lot of trees are you having dense forest over there no you don't have dense forest over there and you have a very few amount of trees over there now these pictures indicate that you are having pampas prairies over here what are these these are types of grassland two images but both are different from each another but what they are indicating flat land large areas having few grasses good for agriculture yes maybe in some areas it's good for agriculture but not in all the areas as i again said where the climate supports you are having a water resource nearby you can do agriculture over there right the next type of plain is deserts when i'm saying desert mostly the people are having sahara desert in their mind Oh yes that's one of the largest desert of the world absolutely what deserts are deserts plains are basically dry barren lands and 
you can just grow very little vegetation over there and not everything can grow there only what if whatever we are growing in uh, deserts they are the plants they are the crops that are drought resistant that's mean they are the least they require the least water to grow right that is why the drought resistant crop or plant can grow in desert not every plant can grow into desert obviously as you can see in the image let's have a look what is it indicating this image is indicating us that there is sand and can you see these camels over there the camels are there because the camels have the capacity to move into sand and into deserted areas because they store water in themselves that is the reason that camels can survive in deserts the surface can be sandy stony or rocky all right so if you talk about the famous desert one of the desert that is in india and pakistan is a third desert and another is the world famous the world largest sahara desert right coming back towards desert let me move to arctic tundra but let's discuss something about that but that we do not only have hot deserts even we have cold deserts as well and what are those katpana desert in skardu in pakistan it's a cold desert right okay now i have moved on towards arctic tundra basically arctic tundra is found in extremely cold and polar regions whatever the cold area of the polar region of the arctic region we call it arctic tundra especially in the arctic circle these are the plains that we can found them as you can see in the image that there is a plain and some trees as well but everything is just covered in ice right basically these plains are somewhere treeless with snow for most of the year vegetation is extremely limited and yes once again not every crop can grow over here very limited crops can grow over here and there is one more important thing that i want to explain you about arctic tundra what is it permafrost yes what is permafrost permafrost is a layer of soil or rock that remains frozen throughout the year the layer the layer of continuously layer this is covered with ice throughout the year all right the top layer that is just covered with ice is the layer of soil and rock but it remains frozen that top layer is known as permafrost it is mainly found in arctic tundra regions right so what do you think that will it be remain there throughout the year if you are having summer season will it stay there the top layer thaws the meaning of thaws thaws means melting when someone is melt something is melting we call it thaws right so when it start melting it creating wetlands and bags right so the permafrost it makes the construction difficult moving ahead the last and the very important part of plain is flat plains whenever i'm saying flat plains let's think in your mind if i'm talking about flat plains what area comes in your mind into pakistan if anyone been to the flat plains of pakistan what comes which which province this comes in your mind as a geography student flat plains the two provinces the two basic provinces are punjab and sindh why i'm saying punjab and sindh let's discuss it ahead basically these plains form along the sides of the river can you just see this river over here this is a river and these lands right and not only this lands ahead of that they are also called flat plains they are very beneficial why they are beneficial because people the farmers they take advantage that they are having the fresh water which is full of nutrients because this water brings erosional material that have a lot of nutrients into that and this water and the material the sand which is having in this water whenever we are using this water it only the only the water does not comes along in the fields along with the water comes a lot of nutrients the material that has been eroded from several kilometers far away when all these different materials mix into the water it provides us a very rich nutrient water and that is beneficial for our crops right and that is why these flat plains they are very much beneficial as they are having a natural fertilizers in them that is why uh, the position of the fertile silt is there flat plains are highly fertile and excellent for agriculture the word silt what is silt silt is basically the fertile soil that is 
we are having due to the floods right whatever is left behind after the flood that is silt silt is completely full of a lot of nutrients it's the soil it's the material which have the flood when it is coming and it's left behind the water and it dries out the silt is left right the silt is the soil basically which is very much fertile so this is flood plains for the moving ahead these plains form along the side of the river due to the repeated flood and deposition what is the meaning of deposition the word erosion deposition these are the very important terms of geography deposition means to deposit deposit the material that is being moving from one place to another so when all the material the sediments the rocks when they are deposited on the land we call the process as deposition right so the fertile silt the fertile soil when it, they are deposited they are settled down they turn into a plain we call those areas flat plains right so the flat plains they also control floods as they store excess river waters flat plains are beneficial due to many reasons right and most of all the flat plains help us in giving us the agricultural crops and especially the country like pakistan we are having river inters and the areas the edges into river inters we call them flat plains the river in the flowing through pakistan has created wide flat plains in punjab and sent due to seasonal flooding and depositional of the sediments these flat plains are divided into upper flat plains found in punjab enriched by the tributaries jhelum chenab ravi and satluj right in the lower flat plains we are having in sin where the river slopes down and deposit fine silt basically in punjab as we are having the tributaries as well and the word punjab punj means five ab means water so that is why the word punjab when we pronounce it together so it turns into that five rivers panch pani right that is the urdu translation of it panch ab and that is the beauty of our province that it is having rivers and the tributaries that joins them so that is why alhamdulillah that in pakistan we are having much agricultural in punjab and in the area of sind due to river inters and the flood plains of punjab and sind are extremely beneficial for pakistan supporting the major crops like wheat sugarcane cotton rice and these are our major export as well and help us in earning the money in earning and increasing our national income increasing the gdp of pakistan this is an image that shows the flood plains can you see greenery everywhere the beautiful scenery the greenery and this is because this land is having extremely rich silt and this water the river is flowing ahead and you can observe greenery everywhere that is the reason that in the area where we are having water resource the agricultural grow more over there right so signing out for today my dear students ending up my topic take care do like and subscribe my channel until then next video take care of yourself allah hafiz